Today, we're going to take a brief look at the 1996 interrogation of Michael Jackson regarding the child molestation accusations that sent ripples of shock across the world. Michael Jackson, hailed as the king of pop and known internationally for his chart-topping hits and invention of the moonwalk, became known for something much more sordid in the mid-90s. The troubled star began to face rumors and accusations of molesting young boys, which he always strongly denied. She can't stop. She can't stop her from making it. There's nothing you can do. Some chamomile tea over there that might settle it down. First problem is it might put you to sleep. You're welcome. Uh, Mr. Jackson, in the latter portion of 1993, there were some allegations leveled at you concerning improper conduct with some young boys. Uh, I assume you're familiar with the fact that those allegations were raised. Is that right? Yes. In fact, there was ultimately uh, at least two uh, grand jury inquiries into that that I am currently aware of, although counsel tells me there may have been a third. Uh, were you aware that a grand jury investigations were conducted in, to those allegations? Yes. When, strike that, did you know at the time that the grand jury was investigating these matters uh, that they were in fact investigating, in other words, you didn't find out after it had completed, you knew in advance that people were being subpoenaed to testify? In advance? Yeah, poorly phrased. Let me rephrase it. <clears throat> It is my understanding that some of Neverland Valley Ranch employees were subpoenaed to testify before the grand jury. Do you know that to be the case as well? Yes. Are you familiar with a person named Jordy Chandler? We're not going there. Uh, don't answer. Um, we're not going to get into who he knows and doesn't know. Jackson is nervous, his body language stiff, and his giggling is tight and forced. He keeps his answers short, never volunteering more than what is asked. His lawyer is quick to step in and put a stop to questions that don't directly pertain to the case. If you want to ask a question, go ahead and ask it, but I believe it's beyond the scope of discoverable matters in the case. Whether he knows of Jordy Chandler? Right. You're not going to allow me to ask him any questions about Jordan Chandler in any fashion? We'll take him one by one, but... Well, I can't ask him whether he knows him. I suppose that would sort of preclude other ones, don't you think? Yeah, probably would. And may I ask, for the record, what the basis upon which you are going to refuse to allow this witness to disclose whether he knows Mr. Jordan Chandler? As you know, counsel, during the course of discovery in this case, you have already gone into, and I think Mr. Sanger has already gone into, at some depth, a deposition that was taken in the case of Jordy Chandler versus Michael Jackson, given by Adrian McManus. There are issues that are certainly relevant to my interest as to why you inquired as to those depositions that Adrian gave. And you're now telling me I can't even ask whether he knows the man or go into any such areas? Yeah, let me, let me Isn't there a that. quote that comes to mind of what's good for the goose is good for the gander? Oh, come on, Karen. <laughs> what? Do uh... stops fame. Wisely, Jackson lets his lawyers handle things. He doesn't appear too worried, and he really doesn't need to be. He's able to afford someone competent. And unless some very incriminating evidence is uncovered, it is unlikely that he will be forced to give any damaging answers. In my, let me just make sure my understanding is clear. Is it your position that you will instruct Mr. Jackson not to answer any questions that pertain to the issue of Jordy Chandler in any way, whether it be claims leveled by Jordy Chandler, if any, uh, or discovery in the Jordy Chandler case vis-a-vis -vis Adrian McManus's deposition and allegations that she uh, testified falsely. Any of that you're not going to let him go into? Uh, I don't, that's right. I, think, I believe that's correct. Um, with respect to the motivations that are, in your view, 
germane to the allegations made in the complaint, my client has testified that he knows nothing about those matters that you want to explore his motivations on. So therefore, there's a lack of foundation. But let's just go do what you want to do. You've raised something that sort of catches me by surprise. You say your client has testified that he knows nothing about these matters. Uh, is this at today's deposition you're referring to or some other deposition that I was not present at? Today. That is strange since I have not, I have not asked about that issue until just now. I have not asked about the allegations specifically. I have asked about investigation. Mm -hmm. Were you aware that Jordan Chandler or his family on his behalf filed a litigation, a lawsuit against you? Yes. Okay. Were you aware at, that at some point in time in that lawsuit, Adrian McManus gave her deposition? I'm not positive. Your answer confuses me. Uh, how do you mean you're not positive? You don't know whether she gave her deposition or not? Exactly. So then, if I understand it correctly, you are not going to allow me to go into any areas in connection with Brett Barnes. Is that right? Well, you can ask. I can, there's nothing I can think of, but if you... I'm not going to categorically say you can't ask anything about him, but I don't think there's anything relevant. So irrelevant that I'm not inclined to let you get into it unless there's an area that you believe is directly tied to the case. Well, I believe it, but I have a feeling that my believing it's not going to convince you of much. To your knowledge, Mr. Jackson, um, were you ever accused of having sexually molested Brett Barnes? We'll answer that. The detective is effectively throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what will stick. Most people would be flustered and answer impulsively. In fact, Jackson would probably say something if he was alone, but the lawyer is knocking the questions out of the air before they have a chance to land. So far, Jackson has spoken more on the matter with journalists than he has with the police. Do you know a person by the name of Macaulay Culkin? Yeah. No. Get your answer. So you're going to let him answer questions about Macaulay Culkin? Let him answer that one. To your knowledge, were you ever accused of having sexually molested Macaulay? That's an instruction not to answer on that one. of the document as I have available to me at this time. Let me ask you this. Do you recognize the uh, handwriting on these two sheets? Yes. Do you know whose handwriting it is? It's mine. Do you know what these documents are? Yeah. What is this? Um, crazy stories that people have uh, created. Things I wanted to set straight in an interview. Do you know with whom this interview was? The next, I think it could have been Diane Sawyer, whatever the interview was that I wanted to do. I wanted to set the record straight, that if people hear a lie long enough, people believe it, that people have lied on me. I'm a black American and I'm proud of it, and I'm honored of it. The bleach skin rumor, which is a rumor, I don't bleach my skin. They, they once said I wanted a white kid to play me as a child, which was a rumor. <laughs> Uh, inauguration rumor saying I didn't want to do President Clinton's inauguration. I'm not gay. Uh, this says, don't judge a person unless you have sp 
spoken to them one on one, which which is true, because uh, what you hear is a lie, uh, untrue. I can't make out this part there. It is illegible in portions. That's true. And Jesus said to love the children and be like children, be no. youthful and be innocent and be pure and honorable. He was talking to his apostles, and they were fighting over who's the greatest among themselves. And he said, whoever humbled yourself like this child is the greatest among me. And he always surrounded himself like with children. And that's how I was raised, to believe and to be like that and to imitate that. So I don't know what you're trying to make out of. I made a list of things. I, when I get angry enough, I write down what I want to say and what I want to talk about to set the record straight. Because you get to a point where you get tired of people lying. I get tired of situations like this, where people completely lie on me, and I'm sick of it. The video operator or off the record? I have to. Once he starts speaking, Jackson becomes completely serious. He is frustrated and visibly weary from all the public speculation and wants to deny the many rumors that have been spread about him, even though he must know that in the end, it will not matter. Jackson was eventually acquitted of these crimes in 2005, but the court of public opinion was split. Surely someone with multiple accusers had to be guilty. The abused can often become abusers, and many speculated that that was the case here. Others were not so sure. Jackson clearly had a troubled childhood, abused by his father and forcibly chemically castrated against his will at 13 it was inevitable that he would develop some psychological problems. Jackson had never had a true childhood, something for which he longed. He had a Peter Pan-like quality of never wanting to grow up and felt most comfortable surrounding himself with boys close to the age he most likely felt himself to be emotionally. His death has ended any possibility of a definitive answer, and his legacy, as he probably suspected, will forever be tainted.